What's good my G's, it's your boy Snow, Ignorant Gamers in the house How you doing, how you living, how you gaming Of course, if you don't already know, G stands for Gamers Welcome, 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 welcome to the channel for the first time If you're here because of the headline And if you are already subscribed Y'all already know IGZ, you already know, put it in the comment section Look, PlayStation Plus, free games for November 2017 This video is late because they put it out late and therefore, the other video is late. If you have an Xbox, look in the cards in the upper right, link in the description below or at the end of the video. The PlayStation Plus free games are probably going to start on November 7th. If you don't see it in the store today, because PlayStation is weird, it will show up November 7th and will be there through, for the rest of the month. They do their releases on Tuesday for the most part, and they don't like to break their balls for nobody, even though it's their fault that the first was a Wednesday and not a Tuesday. They could have just put it out. Anyway. Up first, the PlayStation uh, VR gets a tribute because it's now a year old as of 1016. And um, to celebrate that, PlayStation is handing out Until Dawn Rush of Blood from November 7th all the way to January 2nd. You'll be able to get the game as a bonus game for this month for free and enjoy the roller coaster ride. The original game is dope, has nothing to do with this game in terms of gameplay style. You should enjoy this game. Up next, which is the PS4 games, is Worms Battlegrounds and Bound. Worms is Worms has a long legacy history. It goes back since 1995. Don't be fooled. The game can be fun for the right people. It looks like lemons from far away, but it's kind of an action. I want to say artillery action strategy single player multiplayer has deathmatch all that moving right along to the game bound bound is a platform art game it's single player only you know this is about a story playstation is good for that kind of shit and uh this game got mixed reviews it was all about praising its style and originality and blah 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 and then where it got hit at was of course the gameplay they said the gameplay was weak it was hollow shallow whatever you want to call it art type dimensions which is my favorite game on the list and i haven't even played it yet this is the ps3 the reason why i'm saying y'all should check out art type dimensions is because i love side scrollers and this game here is a combination of r type 1 r type 2 it gives you hd graphics and you can play as the og graphics it's challenging and they let you do something I could have never thought of, uh, well, not never thought, I could never do, which is have two players on the screen at one time locally and online. Moving right along is Ragdoll Kung Fu, Fist of Plastics. Yo, one of the first PS3, game, PS3 games I've ever owned was a lot of fun, multiplayer, local, and co-op. It's basically a beat uh, uh, a brawl game, all right? You got one dude who looked like Bruce slash Brandon Lee, you got some old dude in there who might teach you young grasshoppers a thing or two. You got a chick that reminds me of Pi you, uh, from Virtua Fighter. You got a Raiden looking dude and some other random ninja dude. You could say Ninja Gaiden, Shinobi, Shinobi, whatever. Doesn't matter. Game is cool. Game is fun. You should check it out. It's free. Why not? Next game on the list is a cross by PS Vita game for and also cross by with PS4. It's called Dungeon Punks. It's an action RPG game that basically is a beat em up it's a beat em up action rpg game that has a tag team fighting system that allows you to control other players at the draw at, at the press of a button because as you're playing you're recruiting people all right so it also is a local i think player versus player brawl mode as well you could take that how you want to take that uh i've seen this game back in the days it got mixed reviews as well it might be good for you might might not be I say check it out next game on the list it's probably my least favorite type of game on the list but I'm not taking a shot at the game I actually don't know if the game is good or not I just won't be playing it it's called broken sword 5 the serpent's curse they're also giving you two episodes uh, I believe it's on the PlayStation Vita I'm not sure if this is a cross by title however I will say this point and click adventure games I used to play these a lot when I was younger and when stuff started getting more developed, anything like RPGs that had a lot of text in it, I got away from. Those games were dope until I got other shit. If you've never played type of games like that before, they are pretty good. They tell compelling stories. And today's day, today's world, they can tell better visual stories with that text, first, uh, text story. So I say 
give it a shot i'm gonna download it anyway who knows maybe you'll see a video, video from me in the future and that wraps it up and like i said i recommend our type dimensions and ragdoll kung fu and worms but our type the most that wraps it up for me if you have an xbox or you have some xbox friends <laughs> send in the next video that i'm about to tell you about which is the games of gold for november 2017 cards in the upper right section in the annotations the card the, the end screen whatever description whatever it's there your boy snow ignorant gamers and i'm gone peace